Hello friends, my name is Zach, and I'm making a video game about a duck with a gun. Oh, that's bad. <clears throat> Don't like that. <coughs> Recently, I put a build of the game on my Discord server, and even though it was kind of a broken piece of shit, um, people still seemed to like it. That was until I got this message. Um, fucking... Fuck, how do I fucking do this? It said... Your level. Poop. At first it didn't really faze me since I've spent my fair share of time on the internet, but this one hit close to home, you know? Because they were right. My level was poo-poo. I spent many sleepless nights thinking about that message. I couldn't focus at work. My social life was in shambles. I knew I had to do something about it. I couldn't let this guy win. I had to get good level design. The last time I tried to design a level was all the way back in 2016, so needless to say, I was a bit rusty. So I cleared my schedule and did some research. And by some, I mean a fuck ton because I was Googling like my life depended on it. I read so many books, watched so many GDC talks that I didn't leave the house for weeks. But also because of, you know, the government mandated lockdown, I looked to the ancient arts of something called, uh, Archi Architecture, as well as uh, psychology, but they had lots of big words that I didn't really understand, so they, they really weren't that uh, helpful. But then I came across this amazing Google Doc by our boy Alex that just kind of yeeted together all the best level design advice for games with pew pew. And my game has a lot of pew pew, so fucking, you know, it's more useful than the other shit. Stupid science bitch couldn't even make I more smarter up. Get the fuck out of here. But after doing all this research, I kind of realized something. Any sort of level I make has to make sense within the story, right? And uh, I didn't really have one of those... yet? Uh. I knew you had to be a duck taking down the mafia, but that's really it. And just like I always say, the story's like the bread of the game design burger, you know? You gotta have your meat, that's your gameplay, and uh, the lettuce is the fucking... sounds? I don't know. <laughs> So, I knuckled down and tried to bang out some story. And after that really productive day of work, I got into bed to scroll some dank memes and came across this bad boy. And everything just kind of clicked. What if John Wick was a duck? From there, the story just kind of wrote itself, you know? Pretty straightforward stuff. The duck gets its eggs eaten by some guy from the mob, which brings him to some salami shop, which looks like a, you know, illegal warehouse uh, full of drugs, right? But it's actually a illegal warehouse full of uh, flour. And then, you know, it's run by a chef with telekinesis. Um, so, you know, pretty, pretty straightforward stuff. Um, yeah. But why a salami shop, I hear you ask? Good question. You see, after long hours of thinking about the subtext and metaphor of such an important decision, I decided it should be a salami shop, pretty much entirely because I wanted to shoehorn in that cats can have a little salami meme. You know, I'm something of a narrative designer myself. Anyway, the important thing was that it takes place in a factory, and that was really enough to get started. I've been watching a lot of Corridor Digital recently, and I really liked how their studio was laid out. So uh, let me just fucking uh, grab this, and uh, let me just, uh, yoink. So with that as a starting point, I sketched out this really shitty layout in Photoshop. Then I chucked that bad boy into Unity, and uh, used this cheeky Pro Builder tutorial to make it 3D. Now that that was settled, I actually needed some stuff to, you know, put in the rooms. Even though this game isn't really going for, you know, uh, realism, it was actually kind of helpful to think about the warehouse like it was a real and functioning place. Like you'd hope a warehouse actually has a place to, you know, house wares. Um, so that had to be a room. And then it was like, how the frick did they move all these boxes around? The real answer would be like, you know, forklifts, but that shit's boring. So oh, they use conveyor belts instead. Oh, it's, you just gotta, you just gotta squint. Um, I swear it's a conveyor belt, you just gotta, just gotta squint. Uh, there you go. Anyway, I kind of just kept asking myself these kinds of questions, and then one day I woke up and I was like, hey, this is a pretty solid plan for a level. So basically, I planned out what each room's function should be, and then messed with the layouts until I found something kind of fun. I really wanted to make levels that were kind of fun, no matter how you played them. You know, maybe you want to hang back and fucking try to snipe everyone. Maybe you want to rush in and just fuck shit up like these, and you fucking. <laughs> or maybe you want to crawl around in holes, all sneaky beaky like. 
there's a little something for everyone. Anyway, after I finished the first room, I added in a handrail for some stairs, and the weirdest thing happened. There was some really faint music coming from the rail, and next thing I knew, 90s ska music was blasting, the duck had a cap on backwards, and was doing 360 pop shove with only its feet, while shooting enemies. You wouldn't believe how insane that bug report to Unity was. Then after all that shit about a little something for everyone, I got that and chucked out the window for the next few levels because uh, yeah, they're really tiny and uh, there's not really many ways you can play them. I swear they're still good though. This this one has salami physics. Come on, it's fucking it's fucking salami physics. Again, you just got you just got to squint a bit. I swear they're salamis. They're they're actual salamis. There you go. And then in the middle of all this designering, I was like, hey, you know what's great? Not this. This fucking sucks. I fucking hate all of this. Um, so I'm just going to procrastinate it and make a mini boss instead. Yep. So I smashed out a little dock on what this enemy should look like and then started modeling in blend. Aha! Just kidding. I fucking suck at characters. So instead I just paid a real artist to do it. Cause you know, I don't want my game to look like poo poo as well. Hey, just don't look, don't look at that. It's temporary. Hey, it's temporary. Don't look, don't look. Of course, I just got to add some sunglasses and... Damn. Is it just me? Or is this enemy looking kind of thick? Looking kind of, uh, looking kind of, uh, th thirst, thirsty, looking kind of thirsty. <laughs> Here, have some, have some water. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, I modeled her a gun and made her hold it with uh, old mate inverse kinematics. Then I yeeted in some animations from Mixamo and uh, chucked in some basic AI code. Pretty simple stuff. She just follows the player and shoots a lot. Really, really pretty simple, that's it, that's pretty much it. Actually, a lot of that functionality I've already coded for the other enemies, so uh, what if I just... Uh... Eh. We can't, were well, you just about to violate the don't repeat yourself principle of object-oriented programming? Let me take a gaze at this code. Oh, fucking stinks in here. This needs a refactor, cunt. Clean up your shit. Wait, isn't this Randy's thing and we just copy? Ho, ho, ho. Professor Rework? Ho, ho. Love that cunt. Alright cunt, gotta go. Time for smoko. Yeah, so I spent a while doing a bit of a cheeky cleanup of all the enemy code and making it uh, less shit. So now different enemy types can be chucked into the game easy peasy. So if you've got any suggestions, uh, chuck them in a comment or uh, leave them on the Discord server. Now that the code was looking squeaky clean, I finally finished up the enemy stuff and banged out the last few rooms in the level. And then after all that, I could finally, objectively, say that my level was not in fact poo poo. So, I went to reply to this fucko to settle this once and for all, and that's when it all came back to me. He didn't exist. It was me. Always has been. In a drunken haze, I must have messaged myself and had totally forgotten about it. Just another normal Tuesday night, am I right, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for making it all the way through my stupid little video with uh, an entirely fraudulent premise. If you want to try out my shitty broken game, uh, there's a build on my Discord server, and uh, I'd really love to hear what you guys think. I also want to give a cheeky shout out to all the boys who have made uh, sick fan art for the game. It's uh, It's been absolutely nuts to see, so thank you. Anyway, you should click the fucking red button, or whatever. Yeah, click it. Click it now. Hey, whoa, hey, hey, whoa, hey!